king of what? Angela Levin finally rubs salt to Harry's wound over his jumping on bandwagon. Prince Harry sparked fury in royal expert Angela Levin who questioned the Duke of Sussex's chance of becoming king in the future. Prince Harry, 37, is suing because he was denied the ability to pay for police protection for himself and his family while in the United Kingdom. The Duke wants to bring his children from the United States to visit, but his lawyer told the High Court on Friday that he does not feel comfortable under the current security arrangements. He claims that his private protection team in the United States lacks the necessary international jurisdiction and access to UK intelligence material to keep his family safe. Angela Levin, a royal specialist, rebutted his allegations. Speaking to LBC, she said, What annoyed me incredibly is he said he was in the immediate line of succession. Does he really think he's got a chance to be king when he's behaved like this? The Queen's got to stand up to it. I think she's got to stop him being the Councillor of State and that means when she can't manage or run well, they become stand-ins. They go to meetings and they sign documents. On Friday, the first hearing in the case took place at the Royal Courts of Justice in London, which Harry did not attend. At the preliminary hearing, the court heard there was an application by both sides for some parts of the court documents in the case to be kept private. This claim is about the fact that the claimant does not feel comfortable when he is in the UK given the security procedures applied to him in June 2021 and will continue to be applied to him, Shahid Fatima QC, for the Duke, said in his opening statement. It goes without saying that he wants to return to see his family and friends, as well as continue to support the charities that are so dear to his heart, she added. Most of all, this is and always will be his home. The Duke briefly returned from Los Angeles last year for the July 1st unveiling of the Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial statue and, the day before, on June 30, he met seriously ill children and young people at a well child garden party and afternoon tea in Kew Gardens, West London. It is understood the Duke's car was chased by photographers as he left. Ms. Fatima later said that before the claim was issued the claimant asked the defendant to engage in alternative dispute resolution. Harry is challenging the February 2020 decision of the Executive Committee for the Protection of Royalty and Public Figures, Ravec, over his security. A legal representative for Harry previously said the Duke wants to fund the security himself, rather than ask taxpayers to foot the bill. However Robert Palmer QC, for the Home Office, told the court the Duke's offer of private funding was irrelevant. In written submissions, he said, personal protective security by the police is not available on a privately financed basis, and Ravec does not make decisions on the provision of such security on the basis that any financial contribution could be sought or obtained to pay for it. Previously, Prince Harry and Andrew face calls to lose key title using new Regency Act in Parliament. Calls for Parliament to discuss the removal of Prince Andrew and Prince Harry as councillors of state have been launched on social media. Dickie Arbiter, the Queen's former press secretary, took on Twitter to highlight the present situation with the councillors. The post of councillor of state was founded by the Regency Act 1937, the acts themselves being acts of the United Kingdom Parliament, he tweeted. The Regency Act 1953 restored the Queen Mother's eligibility as a councillor of state which she lost on the death of George VI. Prince Harry resigned as a working member of the royal family in January 2020 since when he's been living in the USA. Question, is there any reason why Parliament cannot introduce a Regency Act 2022 removing Princes Harry and Andrew and reinstating Princess Anne and Prince Edward who ceased to be councillors of state in 2003 and 2005 respectively? Continuity is the watchword.